Good morning, beloved. Uh, this morning, our devotional is 1 Samuel chapter 13 and verse 1. Saul was 30 years old when he became king, and he reigned over Israel 42 years. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we pray that you would add your blessing to this reading of your word. Now, Father, I pray that you would, in every way, help us to persist in what you would have us do, that we would have a witness and testimony of many years of faithfully walking with you. Father, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, Saul uh, has done uh, both good and bad, and in the future he does uh, both a little bit of good and a lot bad, and in fact is uh, destroyed by God uh, for uh, his uh, evil in seeking uh, so sorcery. We'll find out much later that he dies because of seeking a, a witch, the witch of Endor. We need to stop and instead of focusing only on the bad, I want to talk today about simply doing God's will, whatever that is. Saul's king and he's 30 years old when he becomes king and he reigned over Israel 42 years. Now, you know, um, like many people uh, that seek uh, positions of, of uh, higher positions, you know, positions of greater acclaim or fame or fortune or whatever they may be, uh, people seek those. Uh, they devote much, much of their effort to it. And then when they get there, they find out that it's not just some easy thing. It's very hard. Uh, and even even though they worked very hard and they thought maybe they would get to the top and they would be able to relax, they find out when they're at the top that they work even harder uh, than they did uh, when they were on their way up. And so many people become disillusioned uh, by that and they turn to other things. Um, uh, the uh, man who founded uh, Microsoft, um, uh, the men, actually it was several men, the men who founded Microsoft, although one's dead now, uh, they no longer really are active in the data, data operations of Microsoft, the software company, uh, because uh, it was so hard they, they went to other things and now uh, Bill Gates devotes his time to, to his own charities and things like that. I'm sure he works hard, but uh, his, his focus is not that company that he built that became you know the the dominating software company in the world and so that's uh, kind of what people do now Saul didn't do that he was king you know he was king he had frustrations people didn't do what he wanted he was attacked you know I'm, I'm sure he wanted to give up and say let somebody else be king I want to retire I'm tired of this it's too much struggle and and too hard to do uh, but he didn't he reigned over Israel 42 years. He reigned over Israel until he died, uh, beloved. Um, and in that, persisting where God had put him, even though he had departed from God and lost the Spirit of God, he'll lose the Spirit of God later. Uh, and the kingdom is taken from him and given to David. Even though all of that, he persisted. And beloved, I want to say, Christian, we need to persist. Things aren't always easy. There are difficult times. Um, I, I was listening uh, just this morning to uh, a pastor out of uh, Ohio named Alistair Begg, and Alistair Begg in his sermon was talk, is preaching out of Lamentations and was preaching about uh, Christians going through a difficult time. Everything's not going to be perfect. We're going to have difficult times. And how we react to those difficult times is the measure of the person, not uh, how we uh, only react in the wonderful times when everything's great. And beloved, we have to keep going, keep going, keep reading the Bible, keep praying, keep singing, keep worshiping the Lord, keep our focus on Jesus. Wouldn't it be wonderful if it is recorded someday that your life uh, is 42 years, 52 years, 62 years he walked with Jesus. You know, I, I see sometimes people put obituaries and, and he was this and he was that. I would love to see he was 
a man, she was a woman, she had children, he had children, he walked with Jesus. She walked with Jesus. That's what I want. I want to have years of walking with Jesus. Let's be like we read and saw today. He reigned over Israel 42 years. I'm going to walk with Jesus all the days of my life. May God be with you as you go about the rest of your day.